it's okay. It takes years. <laughs> I'm just totally amazed. I mean, you know, we've been working with Orbis for over 30 years and this is the third plane that we have been uh, supporting Orbis with equipment, with products and with cash donations. It's totally self-sufficient. Um, everything that we need to operate the hospital is on board. You may have seen the classroom over there, uh, which serves uh, hundreds and thousands of ophthalmologists around the world uh, to really train, right? And they wouldn't have access to eye care and to training if it wasn't for Orbis. And that makes me so proud on behalf of Alcon, on behalf of the foundation, on behalf of all our associates who work very hard to uh, develop those products and to get it to the people who need it. Typically, you'll have our surgeon, Mr. Bear, and a trainee looking through the training scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can have multiple trainees in here and every they trainee in the hospital here. watching getting the same quality of, uh, of viewing. It's a fantastic marriage between uh, aviation and medical. This airplane is technically a freighter, so the hospital is actually freight. It's not actually part of the airplane. So the certification processes that you'd have to go through in an airplane wasn't required. It can actually be removed from the airplane, taken off, be updated later, even change configurations at some point if we needed to. So it, it was really uh, took thinking outside the box by both uh, aviation and medical. And it took a real team effort uh, to put that together.